Okay, dear friends, I'm back with another machine on the Van Hub, which is now byte one. I will add the link into the description section below so that you can download it. And in this excerpt, I'd like to showcase how to use Hydra to crack HTTP POST form. You may be very familiar with the Hydra to crack the password and use them for the HTTP application. However, in most cases, what the form what you are dealing with contains username and password. But in this specific case, we just、uh, need to crack one field, that is password. So how to deal with that? This special circ circumstance. Otherwise, you will encounter some errors. Okay, if you cannot handle that properly, so without further ado, let's just get started. Now, I have already discovered the IP address of the target as two hundred and fifty-two. Then I did the map scanning with the usual options like since again. The versus scan, the default script scan, and also the comprehensive scan. From a map scanning results, as you can see, there are several open ports, but the most important ones include the first one is eighty, which is running HTTP surface, and also the actual version information. And next one is seven seven seven, which is running SSH. Which is not default port number, and as we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. So what we are going to do next is to emulate the information about the web application. Let's open up our browser and put the IP address of the target. I need to set the pop. Need to set the proxy to be turned off, and now we can refresh. Yeah, we got the the page back from the target, and there is one page. Yeah, this is some sort of I, right? If you search for the laws of harmony, you will find knowledge. Yeah, very good words, and you also can check the source code of this page. But nothing special here, and also you can download or save an image to our local machine. Here, you know we cannot、uh, miss any important point as we do the pen testing, right? So also we can check whether the target has a robot file, but not found. And then we can use the link tool. You know this is the very standard methodology when we deal with web application. But in this case,、uh, we cannot get anything useful. Okay. Oh, sorry. There is one directory PHP my admin. We need to check manually on this one. I think you know what PHP my admin is, okay? But here we do not get any username and password for the database, so we can try if we can log in as the. The common or the weak password like loot and the loot, go but failed. So I think this is not correct direction for the penetration, and we need to find other entry to exploit. So next we can use the go buster to do the direct emulation, right? Let's auto complete this command. All right, we got the uploads directory. We can visit this directory uploads, but directory listing not allowed here. Okay, which is fine, and also the 
There is JavaScript directory, but we cannot get anything useful from this directory. To save time, I'd like to quit the process of directory emulation. So what can we do next? You know, we have already downloaded the image earlier. We can, yeah, here. So we need to make the cellular analysis for this picture. For example, we can use the stack height to see whether we, whether we can find the hidden message inside. But this one cannot work. We also can use the stack seek. But uh, the stack seek doesn't support this format. Okay, the files format. And also we can use the exif tool to see whether we can find hidden message. But nothing special here. Oh, sorry, here. We got the comment. So I think this must mean, so sorry about that. Yeah, we cannot miss anything useful. As you can see, I think this is left by the author, right? And uh, maybe this is password or username or maybe the directory. But I think this one certainly is not a username from the pattern, right? We cannot use this as our username. And at this point, we do not get any uh, username. So this also will, will not be the password. So another reasonable possibility is this one is directory. We can make a copy to access and try that. Yeah, we are correct. But here we need to supply the key or password. So this is where the Hydra comes into play. Of course, you can use the Bubba Suite to, you know, the there is intruder module for the with the Bubba Suite. But uh, my uh, Bubba Suite is the community edition, so the, the clocking will be very slow. And if we want to use the RockQ as our word list, this this would be involve a long time to crack. So I'd, I'd like to use the Hydra instead to crack the password or key here. So how to do it? The firstly, we need to use the inspect of the browser to see what's going on at the background. On the background, for example, we can put any random strings, for example, like admin. Let's hit enter. As you can see, we got the request. Of course, you also can use the Bubba Suite, but I think the browser itself has very good tool or module which allow us to make analysis about the request and the response. As you can see, we got the, the URL, the absolute URL, and also we got the request. So now we can use the Hydra to crack the password. Hydra. Because here, as I mentioned at the very beginning, in this HTTP post form, there is only one field involving crack. So we can use the word list of the log queue. And we can specify the target's IP address. Of course, if you are not familiar with the Hydra, for the HTTP post form occasion, you can come to this website of GitHub. You can get the instruction how to configure command. Okay, but for me, we just use this one. And we can, of course, we have already got the login address here okay and we need to specify the request parameter this one key and we can use the fuzz symbol pass okay and we need to specify error message you know when we supply the wrong key 
the target will reply back with the error message like this one. So we can put invalid, invalid. Okay. Here we go. But uh, immediately we got error. I need at the least either the L, lowercase L or uppercase L. So I think this is the point I'd like to share with you. How to use the Hydra to crack the HTTP POST form where there is only one field to be cracked. I think if you, uh, if you follow my video, uh, this video, you will know this step would be much easier. What do we do? The only thing we need to do is specify the L. The user word list. And we can use any word list. It doesn't matter because this just uh, we put the positional argument. That's all. Rock you. And in this part, we do not need to specify the user name or user fast word or symbol. So now we just uh, press enter. As you can see, no error now. And this will take a bit of while to crack. And uh, so when it's done, I will come back. See you there. All right, as you see, the Hydra has already retrieved the password or key, which is Elite. Yeah, you can neglect this field because this one is useless in our case. So then we can submit our key Elite to our target. And here, yeah, this page provides us the function to search for a user name. For example, we can search JSON. Yeah, fetched the data successfully. So from the URL itself, we can know that maybe this one has the SQL injection vulnerability. We need to use the SQL map to test. So the one very one very good way to test is to use the bubble suite to intercept the request and then use the SQL map to to run. Okay, let's demonstrate here. We can set the bubble suite. Let's launch our bubble suite. Okay. Okay, set the proxy on. And now refresh the page. Yeah, we got the request. And this request contains all cookie information. So we do not need to configure the cookie uh, ourselves. We just copy to file. And we can name to txt. All right, save. Now we can use the SQL map to test this and the level equal three. Let's press enter. And this one is injectable, which is wonderful. And we just wait for this to be completed. Yeah, we do not need to test others. So we just uh, know. Yeah, we know. Yeah, this parameter has SQL injection vulnerability. And we need to emulate the database's information. And therefore, database or file. In total, we just uh, interested in the, this one. And we need to know how many tables for this database. And we know just only one table, users. And then we can 
enumerate the columns information, right? Yeah, and we just、uh, need to fetch or dump data from the user and pass column and、uh, dump. Okay, and I think we got the user name and the password. We can make a copy and note it down into our notebook. And the password, but I think it looks like this one is encoded. By maybe we can decode this message first. All right. Yeah, we got the encrypted. Again, this one is encrypted by some sort of the. Hash algorithm. We can use the hash identifier to get to know the type of the hash, which is MD5. Then we can use this crack station to get the password to to get the cracked result, which is Omega. So then we can log in to the target via SSH. We can make a copy of the user name, and we IP address of the target. But we need to specify the port number. Yes, and the password is Omega. I think this is one very famous brand for watch, right? And the next we can. Do the local emulation and、uh, to see whether we can run sudo omega, but nothing. Then we can check the SUID perm and the type is a file rather than directory. Yeah, we got、uh, this one. We can manually check. The permission settings, yeah, has SUID bit on. So I think we can run this clock watch. It looks like、uh, it's running ps command. So I think it will be easy for us to elevate the privilege to loot. We can manipulate the ps command. We can generate the our own shell. But a very important thing to note here is we cannot use the bash here. We must use the shell. Otherwise, this will not work. And we can redirect to ps command, and we assign full. Privilege to this our own ps command, but also we need to manipulate the environmental variable pass, right?、And、then we can run it of a proc watch again. As you can see, we have already become root user from the banner. Then we can navigate to root directory. We can retrieve. The root flag. Okay, so that's all. I'd like to go through. I hope you can follow my channel and leave a like below. This will help me very much. As you know, I've been、uh, doing、uh, such penetration for a long time,、uh, and I've uploaded、uh, many many videos.、Uh, for example, with the one hub with the Try hack me with the hex box, so I think、uh, you can follow my channel, so that you will not、uh, miss my content. Okay, so that's all. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day.